collaboration that we'll be doing in the next few days and uh, it's so exciting always to come back to Morocco because it's the motherland and it's really beautiful and I'm always welcomed so dearly here and it's gonna be a really kick-ass week and we're here in this really beautiful hotel yeah I feel so pampered already <laughs> Tajin near the pool. I'm going to have a tajin near the pool. I'm going to have a tajin near the pool. And uh, yeah, we've been delighted. Oh my god! Oh, what's your name? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's my favorite. I can't even say it. How do you say it? Huge. I love it. It's my favorite um, dessert. Okay. I'm just gonna change and now I'm gonna come out and then we're gonna go swimming. See you in a bit. Bye. Liam, I did not want to. Nice day. Have a day break. <laughs> Should we just walk? Okay. Speaker always on deck. Take a speaker with us because you never know where I may need to start a party and get people moving and dancing. What is what to my tajin? So then instead of tajin, we go for the hamburger. <laughs> and another opinion? Well, I'm about to have a hamburger. It's on its way. Um, I just eat whatever I like. I don't know. I'm someone who um, really enjoys food. And, uh, oh shit. <laughs> and um, I love my pastas. I love my Moroccan cuisines like kuskuso and tajin. I really like green olives. I really like green olives. I swear, I don't know why. It's weird. Uh, what is your favorite song in the world? Of course, Pepita. Pepita? Oh my god, really? Yeah, don't forget to follow Nora Fatih on Instagram. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> okay, so do you want to at least tell everyone who you are? They think you're some random kid. Um, I'm your brother. No, oh, he's so cute. I love you. Love you too. Okay, bye. Okay, so we left Marrakesh and we are en route. We are on our way to Casablanca, which I think we were there like a day before yesterday. So we're we're gypsies, we're flying from one city to another. We don't relax, we don't go next to the pool and tan and enjoy life like people. We just have to go from one city to another. From what are we machines? It's okay, no relaxation, no personal life, no nothing. I'm really excited to go to Morocco. No, we're going to, see, see, I have lost sleep. I haven't slept in a week. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so tired. Okay, first of all, I'm not even a morning person, so. 
this is gonna be exciting because this is the first time I'm doing like a store opening launch in Morocco and I'm gonna see my Moroccan fans and like a lot of really great people and it's gonna be a really cool experience yes I do want to sleep I do want to go to the pool in tan which I feel at this point is a very distant luxury like I don't even think I'm gonna be able to reach it been to this hotel it looks cool it looks artisty I'm not gonna be here for long because I gotta run up get my hair and my makeup done real quick we don't really have much time because we're like really late and then I gotta put my clothes on real quick and then we gotta run for the store opening so, yes. and hopefully I can sleep after that yep <laughs> I have to like <laughs> reduce the makeup. I don't know. I mean, what is the secret? Oh, where do I begin? First of all, it's so hard for me to choose my foundation skin color because I have to mix two colors together to get like almost the similar skin tone as mine. I put a little bit, I don't put too much because I don't want to look cakey. And uh, I have like my small, small essentials like my lipstick, which is always in a pink tone very natural and then my mascara and my blush so that pink blush gives you that nice color pop you need to look vibrant and alive I'm very careful I just put a little bit of everything even when I shade my eyebrows I just put a little bit because if, if I put too much then I look like a man and then even with like the eyeliner or whatever I don't put eyeliner or anything I just like to use warm neutral earthy tones in my eyeshadow just to kind of let my eyes pop out but that's it yeah I mean sometimes I wish I can put a lot of makeup on because I see so many people who do all these like really cool you know eye makeup and contouring and you know like they experiment with makeup and they look so cool and if I do that I look horrible so from the opening and I'm just like kind of reflecting on um, how crazy it is to be in Morocco and to get that love and support and the kind of just the kind of admiration that like I find in a lot of my Moroccan fans is is life changing like it is really I know I say that all the time like life changing life changing but it really is it just really opens my eyes and gives me this this emotional feeling in my stomach when I see them I'm just like oh my god shit like it's crazy how music dance and art can just reach different parts of the world to different different people from like all over the globe Morocco is my motherland you know what I mean like my parents are born here Although I'm from Toronto in Canada, but there is a, a very personal, special, spiritual connection with Morocco. And I would have never ever thought I would become some sort of sensation here or someone that people would admire. Just being called to the store opening and just having such a welcome like that. It, so much respect is given and, and it's from the heart. And I'm just like, 
a man like how can I thank everybody for this for the for this kind of like response and reaction from everybody and I guess I'm just gonna keep going forward and keep working hopefully I continue making people proud and you know I do my work from my heart especially uh, since one year that uh, first did boom for my career daily the way the love and encouragement I didn't want to get to a place in my career daily I think we can say that the love and the love the fan following are equal the love is equal the admiration is equal the fans daily from the they're very special you know the fan following grows and yeah I just hope to make everybody happy today was a good experience I'm gonna come back again and it's gonna be amazing yeah.